I failed the Microsoft SC300 the first time I took it. I walked out of that exam center with a 687 and I deserved it. I went into the exam way too confident just because I work in Entra every single day. I handle conditional access, MFA management, user management, named locations, and all that stuff is just second nature for me at this point. So I assumed that the test would be easy. It was not. To be honest with you, Microsoft exams are a different beast. They're extremely specific, scenario heavy, and they test parts of the identity ecosystem that you might not ever touch in your real job. The stuff that I underestimated ended up destroying me on this test. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my experience with the SC300, Microsoft's Identity and Access Administrator test. So firstly, the reason that I took SC300 is because I'm a sysadmin that lives in Entra already. As I said, I'm doing a bunch of MFA, conditional access, named locations, things like that. And I wanna move into security work probably at some point in my career. So I figured this cert is a really good Microsoft security cert to get. It's also highly valued at my company. Now again, because I had all of that experience, I assumed that I had this big head start. I was already working in it. I could troubleshoot. I could lock things down. And instead, the test leans hard into identity architecture and governance as opposed to the actual day-to-day -day work that you're doing. I should say, it has both parts. Now I treated this like an identity exam instead of an identity architecture exam. That was the first mistake. My study plan was pathetic. I watched John Sable's exam cram once, the old one from like three years ago. I took three, maybe four Microsoft practice tests and I just assumed that my daily experience in Entro would carry me. Now the stuff that I do do day-to-day, -day, all of that conditional access, MFA, identity management stuff felt really easy. But the exam barely even cares about that. The sections that I never touch in my day-to-day -day life absolutely destroyed me. App registration versus enterprise app versus service principles. Delegated versus application permission who can grant consent. The exam wants all of that at a design level, not a button clicking level. Then identity governments showed up access packages, access reviews, catalogs, life cycle workflows, which I have zero experience with all of this stuff and every question felt like it was written in a foreign language. And the knockout punch for me was global secure access. Sable's older exam cram video doesn't have any note of this. And I had multiple scenario questions on intra private access. And by the time I finally got to the end of this test, I walked out with a 687 and I knew exactly why. I knew that I was gonna fail it. I was relying on real world experience as opposed to understanding how specific and detailed Microsoft exams really are. So after failing, I knew that I had to retake the test because I refused to have any test get the better of me and I knew that I had to do the second time differently. For the second time around, I studied for about two weeks, one to two hours a day and I used three specific resources. One was Microsoft's official practice tests. Really, it's one test, but when you retake it, they kind of cycle in new questions every time. Two was Microsoft Learn and AI and then three was Sable's content as kind of a supplement more than the main feature of my study. So when I was taking these practice tests, instead of just memorizing the answers that I got wrong, I really dug into them. You can click like review and it'll send you to a Microsoft Learn section that has the concepts that were on that question. I was digging deep into this stuff. To be honest, the style, the structure of these questions really matched the real exam more than anything I was able to find anywhere else. Of course, it is Microsoft itself's practice exam for the test. I also stopped spending any time on the things that I already knew, MFA, conditional access, identity protection, and I started focusing on the things that I was not well versed in. This was kind of boring because I don't do it on the job. Governance, app registration and app identity management, consent, PIM, access reviews, global secure access and like intra private access. Now, by the time I retook the exam, I wasn't really guessing anymore. I knew that I was going to pass it. I saw some of the questions that I took on the practice exams on the real exam and I walked out with like a 750 to 780. I can't remember what the exact score was. In my estimation, the following are the hardest four parts of the SC300 exam and the things that you have to know. First is app registration, enterprise apps and service principles. To be honest with you, I've worked with enterprise apps in Entra extensively, but you need to understand the identity architecture behind them. You need to know app registration versus enterprise apps and what you do in each thing. You need to know what a service principle actually is. You need to know delegated versus application permissions. You need to know who can grant consent and when consent is actually needed. And you need to know how application roles flow to tokens. If you only know the GUI side of things, just assigning uh, roles or setting up SSO, you're going to get absolutely smoked. The exam has a lot of backend logic. Now, the second part that you have to know is identity governance, access packages, reviews, 
catalogs, and workflows. This domain was brutal because I touched less of it in production. Everything was super specific. So you need to know what belongs in a catalog, how access packages are structured, approval flows, access reviews, and their triggers. You also have to know when to use lifecycle workflows versus a PIM or versus CA. And if you don't know the exact purpose of each of these identity components, the questions are going to feel like riddles that you're trying to solve. Like it seems like each one could be an answer for a lot of these questions. Again, difficult, specific, ambiguous Microsoft questions. Third part you must know is Defender for Cloud Apps in App Governance, something that I had done nothing with. This exam expects you to recognize app discovery, session controls, conditional access app controls, and high-level monitoring policies. It's not super deep, but you need to understand the app governance ecosystem and what each piece does. And lastly, of course, is global secure access, enter private access, and internet access. Again, this was the biggest surprise because a lot of older videos do not cover it, but the test does. You need to know what private access is for, what internet access actually secures, how they support zero trust, and just high level architecture of how to use each one. If you've never seen these questions, they feel like curveballs. Now, if I had to go back the first time and prepare for SC300 from scratch, this is what I would do differently. The first attempt taught me that they're not really testing you on how to click around in Microsoft's GUI portal. They're teaching you and testing you on how identity architecture actually works in the back end. The former is very important on the job. The back end part is very important for passing this test. And again, the biggest change that I would make is I would rely almost solely on those Microsoft Learn practice tests. Do them until you can get 90 to 95% and then study the learn sections that they give you when you get questions wrong in depth. Those two are great. Sable's exam cram is awesome, especially for actual application of this Microsoft stuff. It's important, but it's not really going to prepare you for the test in the way you think it is. If you have no experience in Entra, it would probably be a good idea to build yourself a lab, get a Microsoft license, and actually lab the things that they're talking about. So labbing how to set up conditional access policies, MFA, organizational security settings, like maybe security defaults, labs passwords, apps and enterprise apps and app registration and how all of this stuff looks. Again, I was kind of lucky because I had already seen some of this stuff on the job. And then lastly, I would go into this test with a lot more humility. I would not underestimate the Microsoft SC300 exam. It is a very difficult exam. I've taken a lot of exams, A+, Net+, Security+, CCNA, uh, Microsoft's AZ-104, which is another very difficult Microsoft Cloud exam. And this test ranks up there with one of the most difficult tests ever. Probably CCNA, AZ-104, and SC-300 are all pretty close for me. And again, just understanding it's not super difficult because of the content of the test. It's also super Super difficult because of the way Microsoft words their questions. The biggest thing is slowing down on the questions and reading every single question carefully and not just assuming you know the answer to the question because they'll slip in an individual word that changes the whole dynamic of the question. Now for every scenario question that you ask, you got to break it down into two of individual questions for yourself. What is the business requirement actually asking for? And then which Microsoft Entra solution solves this in the most simple Microsoft practice exam way. Again, they want the recommended feature. There are a lot of features that do different things that might look like they solve the same problem, but there's always one that solves it in the best way, the most secure way, the best practice way. And then again, you have to be rock solid on those distinctions like delegated versus application permissions, app registration versus enterprise apps, user risk versus sign-in risk, session controls versus grant controls, security admin versus cloud app admin versus global admin, and then lifestyle workflows, access packages, PIM, just in time permissions, things like that. And again, when you take the test, just slow down. Most of the questions aren't super difficult. They're just really specific and you have to understand the things that I've mentioned. So the biggest takeaway from this is use Microsoft Learn and don't underestimate the SC300. It is a difficult test but it's definitely passable. If you're studying for or planning on taking the SC300, drop a comment in the comments. I reply to every single one. If you have any questions about specific things on the exam, let me know. I can't get too specific into my exact exam experience per Microsoft's rules. Uh, I might get in trouble, but I can say that the exam was definitely useful. It was definitely difficult, but I'm definitely happy that I took it. Thank you guys so much for the support lately. Be safe, be smart, make some good decisions, and good luck with those Microsoft security exams. Bye.